No, that thumbnail was not clickbait, literally. Do you feel like that is an impossibility? Are you feeling you have this nudge to start a business, you've heard all these things, you've seen all these claims, you know that it's possible because people are doing it and you've looked into it briefly, but you still just feel like, I wanna do something meaningful, I wanna make this happen, how could I do this? No matter how strong the desire you have, you're just not sure how to start. You have a vision, maybe you've got lots of great ideas, yet when it comes to taking that first step and getting it into place, you feel completely overwhelmed. I get it, I know, I've been there. That's why we're talking about this today. I want to unpack how I went from dreaming to actually doing and why you absolutely can too. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily, I'm a certified Christian life and business coach. And on Fridays, we talk all things entrepreneurship. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can stay connected and you can check out all the other relatable faith-based content I produce. I cannot wait to get to know you. Make sure to subscribe. So there was a time when an idea of running my own business seemed like something so far off and something that other people did. I grew up in a house of entrepreneurs, so I knew the possibilities of entrepreneurship, but it still almost felt like, well, that happened for my parents, but not for me. I've always had that mindset and it's been something God has been working through. And that's what I'm going to share with you today because man, has he done a huge work in my heart and in my life to change that perspective. Why not me? and not in a boastful way, but why can't the things that are written on your heart to do that you're passionate about, that you're excited about, that is intrinsic to who God made you to be, why can't they be shown? Why can't they be explored? They can. I had this vision of working from home, being present with my family, being a very hands-on mom who was able to chase after the things that I've been passionate about since I was little and also be extremely present and pour in to the responsibility of motherhood and the value that I place on that as a Christian mother. And I wanted that, but let's be real. That vision, as inspiring as it is, felt impossible when I graduated, got a corporate job, was completely disillusioned from everything I had thought adult would be. And I started this entrepreneurship journey. I was thrust into it because everything else I did felt so antithetical to who God created me to be. There was absolutely no way I was going to stay in corporate life, hating my life and live in a, an environment that was sucking the soul out of me and making me feel like my life was purposeless. That's not what God called me to. And he hasn't called you to that either. But I had no roadmap. I didn't know where to start on this journey. And how would I get to that point, this ideal I had in my head of owning my own business, making a huge impact, being extremely present with my family, affording this lifestyle that I wanted to be able to give freely and do all these different things and start all these nonprofits that I have always dreamt of doing and have felt very passionate about. I just didn't know what was the path forward? How was I ever going to get there? And I started looking for answers. I realized that God was leading me to grow, not only just a business, but also as a person. And so I took each roadblock and each obstacle and each thing that came my way as an opportunity to learn and to figure it out because I knew that God was equipping me. My whole college education wasn't to go to waste just because I didn't want corporate life. There was a purpose for all of that education and all that time and hours and money spent. And this new journey of figuring out how I was going to create an online business was part of that as well. So it wasn't to say I just instantly had this great opportunity mindset. No, it was painstaking and I had to work work through it. But I'm here to share this story, this journey to show you what I've learned and to talk about specific skills and mindset shifts to help you go from stuck to thriving in this arena. Because if you've clicked on this video, you're already curious about being either being an entrepreneur, you already are an entrepreneur, you want to earn online income, you want to have an online business, you see the value in that, you see the impact that could be to you, to your family, and to those that you're going to serve with your business. And so you're already down this road. And I don't need to explain to you the opportunity of online business. I don't need to explain to you all the whole backstory of what entrepreneurship can look like and how it's evolved over the decades. No, like you see that there's a vision. You just need to figure out how to get it in play. And so this journey has taught me that I've been on has taught me so much about business, but also just to lean into God's purpose for my life, to his timing, to his 
provocation of what choices to make and what to do and to use my gifts, use the gifts in a way that blesses others and offers to the world what God saw when he created me and the purpose that I have here. And how do I do that? All of us are unique in that gifting. So many of us feel called to more. And when we face the reality of launching a business, it's easy to like feel small and significant, underprepared, intimidated by it all. But maybe you're thinking, I have a passion for this, but I'm not a marketer. Or I'd love to start, but what if I'm not good enough? I had all of those same fears. And for a long time, it really held me back. I played very small. And borderline, I'm only playing a medium right now. And I'm working to play in big. And I'd sit down with all these ideas. And I have notebooks upon notebooks upon planners of me mapping out different strategies, different funnels different ways to market, different products that I wanted to offer. My online business and journey has changed and has looked in many different iterations from where it first began. And I've launched different businesses and I've stopped different things that I've started. And it's been a journey, but it's helped me build a lot of stamina and endurance and perseverance and to learn specifically what to steward well and what gets the most return for my time and my energy. It's exhausting. It sounds exhausting but it's the most exciting and also equally like fulfilling journey I've been on because it's taught me so much about God, so much about who he made me to be and finding contentment in that peace and in that relationship above the success of my business or what exactly my business is doing. It, it's all part of this process. And if you come to it with that mindset, you are going to find so much joy in this process. But here's the thing. God calls us to do great things even when we don't feel equipped. And that's what I learned. Think about Moses who didn't even believe he had the words to lead or Joseph who despite all the setbacks never lost sight of his purpose. Each of these stories shows us that being called doesn't mean you'll always feel ready, but it does mean that God will equip you along the way. And that is something that has held me through my whole journey and my failures, my successes that I've had on this journey. I know that God is using it all to his glory ultimately and to help me, to sanctify me and to grow me closer to him. And so that's exciting apart from the profit, apart from the success monetarily or numerically or what others would deem successful. I find my success in that I'm still standing. I'm still figuring out the different ways in which to transition my business and pivot. I've withstood different platforms and different social media changes and all this stuff. And God's been faithful in that. God's been faithful to provide me a business in that. And it's been exciting. So when I started this, I've, there were so many programs, so many opportunities for me to learn from. And so that's what I did. I plugged in. I spent hours learning. I spent thousands investing in coaches and programs to help me learn. Like I had no idea how to build a website. Now I can build a website pretty much from scratch. I had no idea how to do email marketing. I send out emails weekly to people that are part of my community and who have been clients of mine and customers of mine. You know, I know how to do that now. I know how to set up funnels and thank you pages and online carts. And I know how to do content creation. I know how to edit posts and put them on YouTube. Like I've taught myself this. I did not go to school for video production or marketing. Like I took some marketing classes because my degrees, my MBA and my healthcare management degrees had those as part of it, but that was not a focus of mine. So there was so much for me to learn and understand and grasp. But here's the truth, by doing and trying and failing and trying again, you learn. So no matter what educational background or experience you've had, like I was in healthcare management and now I'm doing content creation and life coaching and business coaching. So this is different, okay? So when I started this, it was a huge leap of faith to quit corporate, to quit stable income and start this and try to be more of a freelancer in my endeavors. So I knew I needed direction, but I didn't realize just how much I'd gain in terms of skill and confidence in this process of learning. The first thing I learned was that building a business, it's about so much more than sales or revenue. It's about stepping into your purpose. It's about serving others, honoring the gifts that God created in you uniquely. And each step revealed new skills that were there already that I just needed to develop more and needed to uncover. I learned how to present what I was passionate about in a way that genuinely helped others. And marketing, for instance, stop, I stopped feeling like everything was salesy or I had to figure out how to do all this terminology. No, I just started feeling like 
this was a ministry. My business was a ministry, which it is because it's burst out of the skills that God has created in me. Like I love coaching. I love coaching people, encouraging people, helping people see who they are in Christ because that brings them and fills the void that so much external stuff they're trying to garner it from cannot ever do. And so to help people have those moments with God and to build a relationship with him, to be able to witness that firsthand is, is just, it's a miracle that I get to do that. And I love it. And it's truly who God made me to be. Being able to meet people where they are, helping them find answers. That's what I like to do. And that's something that we all have in us in whatever way that it might come out. You might be a painter. You might be thinking, how could I ever have an online business as a painter? Showing people how to paint, showing people the basics of painting, like teaching someone the skill, and then being able to offer your creations to other people that evoke emotion, that evoke the spirit of God through your creativity. There's a way. Trust me, there is a way. Jesus met people at their point of need and understood their struggles And he spoke to their hearts. And we can do that through our businesses, through our online presence. So learning how to apply that principle in my business has been a game changer for me and has made me more accepting of whatever comes my way and the timing of it all. Because sure, would I love to have overnight success? Yes. Would you? Yes. The thumbnail that I created for this is a real case I'm going to get to in a second. So time management and discipline is the first step to launching an online business. So let's talk time. One of the biggest hurdles we all face, I used to feel that adding a business on top of everything else I was doing would be impossible, but I learned that time management isn't about doing everything at once. It's about focusing on what moves you forward for the season that you're in. For example, I started setting up small achievable goals each day, like connecting with just one client, one potential client, or creating one piece of content. These small actions just started compounding and created momentum in helping me for my coaching business. It's a bit like Nehemiah building, rebuilding the wall. He had a clear goal, focused on daily progress, and trusted God to help him finish it, and it did. The second thing would be that communication and relationship building is paramount. I could not have gotten as far as I have without my own coaches. So I'm a coach who believes in coaches because hello. And one skill that surprised me is the importance of forging good relationships and having an under like having a mentor, having someone who's been gone before you has wisdom and you can learn truly learn from their experience. I used to think I had to be, you know, perfect, have all the answers myself, be the absolute expert always. Let me tell you, someone is always going to have more, be more, and definitely have more smarts than you. It's just the way the world is. Someone's always going to be further down the road than you, but that should not discourage you. It should be an encouragement that look, they've gotten to that point because they've had all these other things go before them and get them to that point. And that could be my same story too. So people want to know who you are and why you're passionate about what you're passionate about. Think about Paul's letters in the Bible. He wasn't afraid to be honest and vulnerable when he was writing to other Christians and being bold in what he was sharing because he knew it was coming from a genuine place that God had in relationship with him. So your business is going to be another part of who God created you to be. And you can feel emboldened in that truth. Like my my business is another extension of God working in my life and how can I how will my business impact the community and myself and everyone that's involved in this it's another way for me to worship the Lord and be a disciple for him through this business through creating this space and being able to learn how those relationships are forged and being able to communicate is a skill set that is needed And then also just resilience and faith. I've spoken to this over and over, like having perseverance, having endurance, it's part of it. You are going to fail. There's going to be things that don't work out the way that you hope that they would. There's going to be launches that you create that plop and you get nothing from them. And then you're going to have launches that are, you didn't even anticipate being as helpful and successful as they were, but clearly you were able to help someone in need and that showed. So there's plenty of times I've had setbacks moments where I question what I was truly doing, if I was on the right path, but what I've learned and what I see throughout scripture is that resilience is just about pushing through the difficulty. It's about trusting in God's timing and his provision. When Joseph was sold into slavery, he didn't give up his dreams. He knew what was coming because God had imprinted that on his heart. But even in this, in the midst of it, I'm sure he thought, how will this ever happen? Look at what happened to me. I was sold into slavery. I rose. I fell. I was in prison. Like all these different things had kept him 
far from that vision, but he remained faithful because he trusted in God. So I can't tell you how many times I had to remind myself that setbacks are part of the journey. They are normal. And through every single challenge, I found that my faith grew because I had to seek him in order to understand what was going on and why things weren't the way as I would hope them to be. And that has helped me find success in launching an online business. And the next thing is creative problem solving. So this one is definitely a part of your journey as an entrepreneur because you're gonna have to think outside of the box and to know that there are different ways to manage different situations that come up. And you can rework things all the time to figure out the best way and the most productive and efficient way to handle a situation. That just always made me think of the Proverbs 31 woman. So we think, oh my gosh, she's a woman that had everything, had it all figured out all the time. And really a big part of her story is just that for every different season she was in, she stewarded well what God provided. So there was a season when she had a great field and was able to purchase that and she reaped a lot of harvest and fruit from that business. There's a season where she's a great hostess. So she was probably more at home not working so much outside of the home during that season. And she was good at hospitality and creating an environment that welcomed community and communication and relationships, which is so important to the Lord. They talked about her motherhood and how her children loved her because she was a good mother and she carried that responsibility well. So it wasn't so much that she was doing all the different things at the same time. In the different seasons of her life, she stewarded well what was given to her. And so you'll realize in your entrepreneurship journey, like there will be seasons of great growth there will be seasons of stagnations. There will be seasons where you're pulling back and not doing as much. There's going to be seasons where things stop completely. You regroup and you change directions completely. There's going to be seasons for all different kinds of things that happen, but your re main responsibility and focus is to stay aligned with God and to keep that relationship above all else, managing what is given to you in this season and realizing that your identity is in how you respond to your circumstances and how you do that in the likeness of Christ and being with Christ and co-laboring with Christ in your business. And that's what makes this journey such a sanctifying one because you're really able to have faith and hope in God and rely, relying on his promises to you in the midst of things that don't make a lot of sense or seem impossible to achieve. And that too is the beauty of being in business with the Lord as your partner. So there was a moment where everything seemed to come together in my business and like having the ideas of what exactly I wanted to do, what I wanted to offer, what type of person I wanted to help. There was some programs that I had purchased that were a complete waste of money. There were some coaches and experts that I had hired to help me that helped me a little bit, but really I didn't feel like returned the value that I had given to them. And you're going to come across that in your walk too and getting mentors and figuring out what the best place to get resources from when it comes to learning things you don't already know or hiring people for the skills that set that they have. And that's going to be part of the growing experience, but that should not be holding you back from taking action and taking a step in the direction to launch what God is calling you to do and to launch this online business because there is going to be great growth, great opportunity, and great experience from all of it. That effort is not returning void because it's part of your relationship with God going on this adventure together. And that's what I've had to keep at the forefront of my mind because there have been things that I've had, there, there have been things that I've had to walk through and work through figuring out, is this even what I need to be doing? Do I need to just forget this and go a totally different direction? Do I just need to do something different altogether? And there have been seasons where I've pulled back because to me, God was saying, slow down. This is not the season for this. This is a great idea, but it may need to be tabled for later. And that was because he knew what was on the horizon in my own personal life of what was to come and what I would needed to be focused on. Recently, I've had a moment where everything seems to be coming together in a season for what I'm facing right now with my kids a little bit older, with my husband and his work, and what I know the, that God is calling me to focus on. And I've really had to come together with letting go of some things I've had hangups on, like doing videos for YouTube, for instance, and really putting effort into this part of my brand, if you will, and my business and learning to just get over some things and hangups that I have so that I can finally step into what God has been calling me to do. Earlier this year, when I relaunched my YouTube channel, I just felt God pressing on my heart to do it his way and to let some of the things that I had been 
putting on the back burner because I felt like I wasn't ready to just have faith that God is working in this. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. Perfectionism is such an easy thing to be hung up on and it will keep you complacent and stuck for years. You will waste years of your life trying to struggle through perfectionism. So I'm just telling you from me to you, you can do this without being perfect at it in whatever avenue that you plan to go with your online business. And that's been a full circle moment for me because that was a moment when I realized I'm, I'm not just running a business. Like I'm living out my calling. I'm doing, I'm putting into action things that I feel called to do because God has pressed that on my heart. And that's what I want for each of you to step into your purpose with confidence knowing that you have everything you need to succeed because you're pursuing God first. And that's the first thing. He is going to qualify you for what is to come in your life and to help you manage it all. So if you're in a place right now where you're ready to launch, you're ready to do something, you have ideas, but you're just not sure what the roadmap is. Like, how would I get this online? How do I start this online process? How do I get an online business up and going so that it is a stream of one, income, two, a, a way for me to impact others in the way that I feel like God is calling me to do? You're bit, nobody starts a business because they just think it's fun to spend a lot of time and energy doing something. You launch a business because you believe in it. You launch a business and have a product or a service because it's solving a problem for somebody else. And that is so exciting. That is part of your kingdom impact. That is what makes your business faith-based because you have a heart for God. And so what you do, anything you do is an act of worship. So especially in your business. So what you feel called to do or excited to do, or maybe you know you want to start an online business because you do want a source of revenue to fund something that's outside of business, but maybe a private ministry or foundation or organization that you want to launch or have a, a heavier hand in. That that's enough reason to start an online business because there is so much opportunity in the online space. So we're talking digital products, we're talking services, we're talking different types of programs that you can create that's gonna help someone learn something. There's so many different avenues for online business. And so I wanted to take a moment here to insert something that I've been walking through that has up leveled my online business. So I'm a Christian life and business coach, and that's one arm. I'm also a content creator. I have a podcast. I have this channel and I have other avenues like Substack and, and that is an avenue of my business. And then also as a business coach, I want to help other entrepreneurs launch their businesses. And I have gone through my own experts and programs and things like that that I've used to help me up level the skill sets that I've needed to launch and sustain my online business and to create d different iterations of it. And recently I found a program that I absolutely love. It is so concise. It brings together knowledge that I've worked over the last decade figuring out on the go, on the run. And it has been such a light light post for so many people to be able to create their online business. And this is where my thumbnail comes in. My One of my very own Christian coaches, mentor and friend, got this program and had so much success that she earned $100,000 in less than 70 days. And that is life-changing money for most people. And for, I would say over 90% of people earning a hundred thousand dollars in that time frame would be life changing. And I knew from just working with her and knowing who she is that I wanted to understand this program that she bought and how it was helping her in her business. She's also a Christian coach, very similar to me who had this great success is that this program gives you a blueprint for how to set up a sustainable online business that doesn't cost you thousands on the back end to run and maintain. You'll find through your research, there are so many programs, softwares, companies that you can build your online platform on or your online business on, but they cost you a lot of money. So this program offers you a way to learn how to start up an online business costing you nothing. And it helps you harness the skill set and the understanding of how to build out an online business. So you take this skill set and you can apply it to any type of online business that you're wanting to launch. I purchased this program because I knew if I purchased this program, I would get up-to-date information. And that was one thing that is set apart in this program versus others is that you can actually get continual 24-7 support. 
and updated training daily. There's daily training in there. Right now there's a 90 day training going on that is helping you learn how to handle an online business during the holiday season, which is always a huge time for certain online businesses to explode in growth because people are purchasing a lot of different things on during the holidays, right? There's Black Friday sales and all that stuff, Cyber Monday deals and all that stuff coming up for the holiday season. So she's teaching us how to manage the holiday season with your online business and in a different in any different capacity that your business is. So this program is truly set apart and it has been so exhilarating to go through the program myself and revamp my skill set up level it and then also being able to share that with other people who are interested in starting an online business as a business coach people have worked with me that have many different types of businesses i've had many types of different businesses even a physical product business and so i understand that there's a many different aspects to running a business and this skill set you learn in this program has been something that's applicable to any type of business but especially an online business that is its core focus so if you check out the link below, you will see that this is a program that offers so much information and so much co cohesive knowledge that's going to help you get an online business launched and set up and ready to roll. It is basically a straight up blueprint of how to operate an online business, what to do, how to use it, what systems to use, and amazing training to teach you all the different skill sets. I've even grown my YouTube channel since getting this program because she teaches you the different avenues in which to grow your online business, the different social media content platforms and how to manage those different ones and how to do email or marketing and how to build out your funnels. And some of these terminologies you may be familiar with, some may sound like completely different language, but that is what this program is for. Having an interest in online business is going to help you create a life that is flexible, that's purposeful, that's legacy building, because you're going to be, be able to uphold and maintain the values that you have. If you're a mom that wants to spend the majority of your time with your kids, but have this calling on your heart to do this, an online business is going to fit nicely into that. Envision having the flexibility to just work on your terms, to be present with your family and to create something that brings value to others and solves a problem for them, making that impact that you feel called to make. And most importantly, imagine knowing that what you're building is aligned with God because you're choosing to partner with God in this business and to help you make their choices to aligned with God's plan for you. So that's the life that is possible on the other side of that first step of taking the first step to create your online business and why it could be an avenue of insane growth, not just monetarily, but spiritually, because your relationship with God is going to grow so much deeper through this process. Building a business that honors God and serves others isn't an overnight story or a process. It takes courage, commitment, and faith but it is absolutely worth it. And in my own experience, it has been the, one of the greatest journeys apart from motherhood of my life is this entrepreneurship journey and learning all that I've learned in this last decade. I know what it feels like to feel paralyzed by questions and doubts, but I also know what it's like to overcome that and to see the success on the other side, to experience and live out the vision that you've had, the dream that you've been thinking about and to find that path that works, that balances what it is you hold so valuable. Every skill you need, time management, resilience, communication, is something that can be learned and grown. You just have to be willing to start. If you're ready to stop dreaming and start building, and if you want a roadmap that shows you how to turn that God-given vision into reality, then I encourage you to consider the Legacy Builders program. Once you learn the foundations in this program, you will be off to the races and you'll be able to pivot this skill set into any different type of iteration of an online business that you want to create. You're going to be able to understand the components of a well-oiled online business machine. It's the bridge that helped me go from waiting to creating, and I know that it can do the same for you. There's nothing holding you back but yourself. And you will be able to see that there is a possibility to fund the calling that God has on your heart, to fund the mission that you have, to serve him, to serve your family. And that is the beauty of this time that we are living in right now, that there's this opportunity. There's an opportunity to build a successful business in the margin of your days that will allow you to uphold the values that you have in both your personal life, your professional life, 
and all in between. And it's a way for you to impact others in the way that God uniquely made you to do. So whatever your skill set is, whatever you're thinking about launching, knowing the online business components and the ones that are able to scale as you grow is so imperative. And I know that this program has given me a new set of skills to utilize. And for those just starting out, it is going to save you so much time and so much investment trying to figure out and piecemeal all the things together on your own. I love seeing clients have the moments of their light bulb moments and the momentum garnered from stepping in faith, taking action, and being committed to what is to come and being excited about that journey. So I want that for you too. And if you have any comments or any questions, please leave those below. And I look forward to connecting with you. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so we can stay connected.